Hello and welcome. So in this video, I will be demonstrating a Monero atomic swap. So to start off with, you're going to need to download a few things. So it's just actually these two things. And Electrum Wallet is optional, um, but you do need to download this swap software. It's pretty easy. You just download it and then double click it and it'll self-install. Uh, an Electrum Wallet you might need because you need to have a certain type of Bitcoin address. It has to be a BEC32 address. So there are multiple types of addresses for Bitcoin, and BEC32 is one of them. Electrum is just a common, easy to use uh, software. So, so another thing you'll need is a Monero wallet address. You can download the software you need for Monero at getmonero.org, and you can just click this link right here. So I got this by Googling Monero Atomic Swap first link, and then you get this download right here, and then you can go to unstoppableswap.net. And this is where the magic happens. So first you have to figure out how much Bitcoin you want to do. Point two is fine for what I'm doing. And then click swap. Monero payout address. It's right here. Bitcoin refund address. And this is what you need the special Bitcoin for. And and click this and click next and then Windows PowerShell. So don't be intimidated if you're not that familiar with computers and computer science and coding. This is going to look like it's like the ultimate hacker move, but it's actually not really that difficult to understand. So you just open, type in POW. PowerShell and you get to this and so then this is actually a guide you can follow right here so you it does this little animation here but you just need to copy and paste this whole thing this is the mainly this is the hardest thing you have to do you just copy and paste this thing right here oh but you don't want to include this downloading latest version of the swap tool I had trouble doing this copy command and clipboard that didn't work so I just had to do a standard copy pay copy paste and then control V and here press enter starting swap and it doesn't take that long from my experience it can you know just a few seconds of waiting let's see all right there we are so that wasn't that bad and so now what we need to do is we need to send Bitcoin to this address that it has said right here so this is an address that is not your address and so you have to make sure it's the right one when you send it. So just highlight, copy, control C. And I use a Ledger wallet. So the wallet you send from doesn't actually have to be anything particular. It can be whatever you want, whatever you're familiar with. Just paste the address that you've just gotten from the, your PowerShell. Press continue and then .02 is the amount we're transacting. Continue and continue. And now I need to confirm the transaction on my ledger device. View the output, looks good. Now it's sending. And so now with PowerShell, you'll see it pop up. It'll take a little bit, but shouldn't take too long. There we go. So now it started the swap. So now it it gets to this point where it says waiting for Alice to lock Monero and this is a this is a legitimate wait this might be a little bit of a wait but once you get here you're pretty much done you just need to wait so that waiting took about 31 minutes 
and it now begins the transactions. So I'll set another timer to see how long that takes. All right, so the 10 confirmations took about 11 minutes, and now I have finally successfully transferred the XMR. If I check my wallet, it'll be in there. One issue that I have run into, and this was only when I was transacting a larger amount, which was the limit of 0.15 Bitcoin, was that it would get this error that said seller's balance is too low to fulfill the swap request. So I just had to run a quick line of code, which was this line right here, except you just replace this part right here with your Bitcoin address. And that's how to do an atomic swap. Thank you for watching.